let's look at something super interesting here. At least it's really interesting to me. When I was starting on plastic surgery, you learn about scarring. Obviously, it's very important to us. And you learn about skin tension. And different areas of the body have different skin tension. And the higher the skin tension, the worse the scarring. And so I've noticed this for years and I'm just marking a patient here for breast augmentation, which has really nice shape to her breasts. We're gonna do a nice augmentation here just to fill in some hollowness, fill in some cleavage. But you know, as I was marking her, our incision here is gonna go underneath here. But what's really fascinating is she had something like this here, like a little mole or nevus, but she had something removed a while ago. She couldn't remember exactly what it was, but something like that. And now look at the scar that's here. That is not a good scar. It's raised and it's probably, if you look at it, is probably worse than whatever was there to begin with. And the interesting thing is I'm marking her now and I'm going to be making an incision. So when I see something like that, I'm like, oh, that that's concerning because I don't want her to have something here that looks the same, but it won't. And I'm going to show you probably three months from now how this incision will look and what that scar will look like. But the reason this scar here doesn't look very good, even though it's very close to where I'm going to be making my incision, is because when I'm going to make my incision, I'm going to make it on the breast tissue. This is very close to the breast, but it's not actually on the breast and it's still on the chest. So we know, and it's happened to me a million times, if, I, if I'm doing a breast augmentation, someone's like, hey, I got something here, can you take it off? These scars always look good and that scar would look terrible. And you're like, well, how can that be? I'm making the same day, everything else? Well, because this area is very high tension, very high skin tension, and things typically don't scar very well in this area. Shoulders, upper back, all high tension areas. And so it's just really curious that here we are and the scar is not good because it's actually picked up some of this chest skin rather than breast skin. And if that was moved over a little bit and we're just operating on the breast when that was removed, scar would be much, much, much better. So it's really interesting to me how the skin tension that we know we're taught, we're learning, there's lang uh, longer's lines, where lines of skin tension, all these types of things we learn. But it's just when you go to see it in practical terms of real everyday stuff, it's pretty interesting how just a small movement of that scar into that chest skin created a much worse scar than what her breast scar will be. And I'll show you in three months what that looks like. Thank you. There we go. Hola, mi nombre es Valeria. Yo me hice aumento de senos con el doctor William. Bueno, el día que salí de la cirugía, en realidad eh, pensaba que iba a tener mucho, mucho, mucho dolor. Pero en realidad fue una recuperación casi indolora. No entiendo a veces uno lee comentarios o opiniones de, de las demás personas. No escuchen eso porque mi recuperación en realidad fue del 1 al 10, 2 de dolor, casi nada. Mi recuperación fue muy rápida. Creo que yo la semana ya estaba ready para todo. Estoy muy agradecida. Gracias.